phone to break this down. If you're not a fan of hardcore punk, you probably haven't heard of Harley Flanagan, founding and now ex-member of the band The Chromats. Fighting lyrics are one thing, fighting people another. But that's exactly what the NYPD says the 45-year-old former frontman did minutes before a show last night inside Webster Hall. They say around 8, Flanagan allegedly attacked two men, both currently in the band, in the VIP area with a knife, slashing both, then biting one in the face. The 11th Street Club canceled the multi-band show, which was supposed to also include Sick of It All. concert was part of a four-day CBGB music festival. We spoke to the organizers. They issued this statement. They say that they certainly are concerned for the safety of the people that come to see the shows, and also they were saddened about what happened here last night. They also say they don't want what happened here to overshadow four days and nights of music. So I'd like to introduce to you right now back home, Zulu Wave. Let's hear it from everyone. That's Matt Pinfield, radio DJ, TV host, and walking rock and roll encyclopedia at today's free concert in Times Square. I was sad to hear about it because, you know, I like Harley and all the people involved. I've known these guys for years through the uh, New York music scene. So, I mean, I, I think really what it came down to is ex-members, new members, and some beef between band members. Lots of people we talked to today didn't know about the fight and generally didn't care. Flanagan suffered a broken leg and is being charged with assault and weapons charges. A different scene from Times Square where everyone seemed to be getting along. Generally, it's been a really celebratory festival here. It's been great. In Times Square, Deb Brown's Throne, Pix 11 News. Coming up, a family receives a call.